First and foremost, it's a community need because we know that early childhood education uh, can be a game changer in the lives of children and the lives of working families. Right now, only about one third of kids in our community are accessing quality early childhood education. And we hear stories about these incredibly long waiting lists that families are on. So we know the need is there. We know that early child education works. And we know it's a key component of creating a Buncombe County where every child has an opportunity to thrive. When I was on the school board and we began to look at the achievement gap, I saw the huge gap that started with pre-K, even before the kids entered school. And this is when it hit me, we've got to do something about child care. And we're starting it with the new initiative and hopefully it, it, we can't do it overnight but now we're starting it and we will build on this. When we listened to the community and when we studied the data, we heard about the need for there to be more opportunities for families, regardless of where they live and regardless of how much money they make. As a committee member and a commissioner, we can put it all together and make this an everlasting deal. We are continuing to strive to make this progress in the future be as great year after year. We need diverse perspectives at the table as we figure out this challenge. You know, communities all across the country are trying to figure out how do we scale up access to early child education. So we want to both look at models from across the country and across North Carolina, but also really have homegrown solutions to that. And we think, I think there's no one better to craft those solutions than people who live in the very communities that we're, that we're serving. We need to hear from every segment of our population, from the different areas, ethnic groups, whatever. We've got to listen to our electric. Everyone has, has worked with different organizations and just everyone bringing something forward. And if we listen, I promise we will make good decisions of how we handle this in the future. Our children and families are incredibly fortunate to have the high level of community engagement in early childhood education. This is indicated by the wide span of innovative and inclusive ideas shown on the request for program funding. We're trying to look at this picture as holistically as we can and to fund initiatives um, that are working on the access side of uh, things but are also working on the workforce development side of things and are also working on the wraparound services that speak to some of the greater needs that exist in the lives of, of many children. The level of brain development, physical, emotional, and social development that happens in the first 2,000 days of a child's life is really extraordinary. And anyone who's been around kids knows that. And when they're in quality early child education centers and programs, they have the support from trained teachers to do that. Um, what we also know is that many children have additional needs. Uh, especially if they've been exposed to trauma early in their lives. And the best models we're seeing of early child education are programs that include support around behavioral health, that include good nutritious meals throughout the day, and that really understand the whole child, but also the whole family. There are multiple benefits in showing our commitment to early childhood education. Aside from the obvious effects of building strength and knowledge in our youngest population, supporting our workforce, there's comfort as a working parent in knowing that your child is being cared for, learning, and hopefully enjoying the day while they're away from you. We will know that we've succeeded when all families can find affordable, quality care that meets the needs for their families and for their children. We will know that we have succeeded when more people are choosing careers in the field of early childhood education because they can make a good living and because the community celebrates their contributions. I'm proud to serve on a commission that has made this such a top priority, not just in terms of what we talk about, but actually walking the walk of creating this fund um, and being very excited now for this fund to be a springboard into engaging partners in the philanthropic world, the business world, um, who can come to the table and say, what else can we do to help move the needle for kids in our community?